in this video tutorial I am going to design this model this height cover so let's start it units are in inches make sure your units are selected as IPS inches we are good go to sketch and in to design this model I am going to using this revolve feature so we needed to draw our sketch which is accurate for the revolve base boss so for the plane I am going to select the right plane and then I am going to start to rectangular I will start from origin and draw a rectangular like that and again I am going to draw a rectangular starting on starting from this line and like that these two lines are uh, collinear on the same line now I am going to use the trim tool and under the trim tool you can use the trim to close it and you can also use the power trim power trim tool is very good if uh, you practice this power tool it will very helpful so basically we how you can use that the power tool you just needed to press your left mouse button and then drag your mouse to the lines which you don't want like that it will start uh, a line will appearing like that and just I don't want this line I will pass my uh, power trim from that line and then then again I also don't want this line so it will be trimmed this is very good tool just practice this once again I am going to do it so select trim select the power trim and then just drag it here like that okay and now basically I wanted this point extend to that point so I can just uh, drag this point and make it here and we are all set the other method is that just go to the trim under the trim you will see a trim identities and extend identities just like click on this little triangle and expand the extended trim and just select this point and you will see see in the preview that this line will be extended to that point so like that we are all good and make sure you will left click uh, right click and select the select now we needed to add the dimensions and this whole dimension is given as 1.625 and this dimension is given as 0.125 and this dimension is given as 0 0.750 and this dimension is given as 0.5 like that and then I am going to exit the sketch and go to our preview view now we just draw this portion of that sketch on the right plane if you see in the we just design this portion this portion the right portion of that sketch so now we needed to use the revolve base when you go to the revolve base there will be a definition of the revolve base boss will appear revolve a sketch or selected sketch contours around an axis to create a solid feature so let's use this and you will get the meaning of the revolve base boss so it will ask select this sketch I am going to select this line and just unselect this so basically what we did make sure you selected this sketch and select the revolve base boss now after select make making the selection under the revolve you will see axis of revolution basically it's asking about an axis around which you want to revolve your sketch so I am going to select this box and select this this line for my axis of revolution so like that it will revolve the the whole sketch around this axis and as you see under the direction one blind is selected and under the blind you will see the 360 degree angle 
let me decrease this angle when you decrease this angle now you see this whole sketch is revolve around this axis 320 degree but our requirement 360 i am going to select it 360 and click ok now we make this revolve feature and to design this uh, model we can also design we can also design it an other way like we will open a sketch on front and just add this circle and then extrude it then add this uh, sketch on this face and then extrude it we can also do that or we can use that the revolve feature revolve feature is very important just practice it and then again open this sketch on this small face and switch to normal view and select the circle and add a circle we wanted to remove the material and the dimension of this circle is given as make sure to start it from region is 0.625 so this circle must be concentric with this edge circle and exit this sketch and make sure the sketch is selected and go and select the extrude and through all under the type of end condition direction one select the through all material will be removed now we needed to add these holes i am going to draw this one hole then i am going to circular pattern and i will make the other holes so go to sketch and select the sketching on this face and switch to normal view and then i am going to draw a center line starting from this and this is basically center line meaning i am drawing a construction line for my sketch and select the center circle and start the circle from this end of the reference line and dimension it this dimension is 0 0.250 and the distance from this point to this point is distance from this point to this point is given and this distance is 1.375 exit the sketch extruded cut under the direction 1 and condition select through all and then go to circular pattern and for the axis or pattern axis I am going to select this this edge and which feature you want to circular pattern this cut and how many you needed uh, the cuts the number of instances you needed to select that so our requirement is six make it six make sure the equal spacing is selected and 360 is selected click ok and switch to isometric view now we just uh, needed to add the fillet select fillet select this edge and the angle of uh, the diameter uh, radius of the fillet is 1.25 click ok and then i am going to add the material uh, that one apply close material will be added and our design is completed thank you so much please like subscribe and share my channel with your friends thank you so much